Hello, I'm Robin van Neve, and I'd like to talk to you about the 1073 LB Mic Pre, which is a 1073 front-end microphone amplifier that's been packaged into a 500 series format. I'd like to talk to you about the features of the uh, 1073 LB Mic Pre. We have uh, the gain control here, which is not only mic gain, but also line as well. We have a trim control here, which will allow you to, for effect, overload the mic pre and then back it off on the trim control. The trim control will have a range of plus five to minus 20. We have the usual phase invert, low and high input impedance, and front panel switching because this unit you can feed from the rear input or from the front input by simply switching this switch. Phantom power is selected by a switch on the line trim here. The phantom power has a, a, a little intelligent circuit which allows it to be switched off if you deselect the front the switch or switch the front panel switch in. So this allows you to start from scratch so that you protect whatever uh, signal you have plugged into the unit either in the front or in the rear of uh, the unit. Also when you move the switch from the line sensitivity settings over to the mic sensitivity settings then the phantom power will able to be switched on or off. However if the phantom power is on and you move from mic into line, it will automatically switch off, which is another sort of safety feature to protect any of your gear being blown up by phantom power. With all of the, um, the LB500 uh, series modules that we've produced, the, the mic pre, the EQ, and the, the recent uh, edition, which is a 2264A, one of the great challenges here was to be able to package it into a 500 format series, but maintain faithfully and keep to the original design. To do this, we have used the same input transformer and the same output transformer as are used on the 1073s exactly. And we've also maintained the class A discrete amplifier, output amplifier, plus the two Class A discrete amplifiers used in the gain stage of the unit, here and here, and along with the tantalum coupling capacitors that would have been used on the original 1073s. The Elmer switch here, we've still uh, got a gold-plated Elmer switch um, because we want it to be reliable. But what we've done here is we've replaced uh, the three bank helmer with a single bank helmer and then produced all the switching on high quality read relays on this PCB here. One of the features I'd like to talk about now with the 1073 LB range is the insert mode. What this will allow you to do is it will allow you to be able to package a 1073 mic pre with a 1073 LB EQ. Now this will give you a true 1073 channel amplifier. Now this is different, this is a subtle difference here because you could just come out of the output of the mic pre and plug it into the EQ and then come out of the EQ and feed whatever piece of equipment you've got. And there you've got the mic pre and the EQ, but it's not the same thing. The insert mode allows you to have the 1073 mic pre LB and the 1073 EQ side by side and to make an exact signal, si signal chain which would be inside a 1073. Uh, to elaborate on that, you would come in to the mic pre through the transformer and then through the two stages of the input gain section. The second, second amplifier of the input gain section will then be sent out to the equaliser and then the equaliser would then return the signal into 
the input of the output amplifier of the 1073, thus forming the complete chain as you would get in a 1073. Another interesting feature of it being in the insert mode is basically a dual output. You'll get an output from the 1073 LB uh, mic pre-output amplifier, which is the Class A amplifier output, and you'll also get an output from the equaliser electronically balanced output. And this is interesting because it will allow you to get a different sound out of each output, allowing you to compare the two sounds and mix them together or do what you want to create a new sound.